He's taking a shot to nothing. If he knocks this red in, he's nicely on the black. It's there. One would have to say that John should never have allowed him to have that shot to nothing. It wasn't an easy butt, but Stephen Hendry, you're seeing them well. Half chances become Nine. very valuable. And I think Stephen's playing pretty well. He's just not quite getting the massive breaks that uh, we used to see him, him knock in, but uh, he still looks in pretty good form to me. Yes, Ray, he's had uh, nine breaks of over 50, which is still a very, very high standard, but he has such, set such high standards over the last few years. But it's his turn to... Uh, run out of position. Now, is there a plant on there into the uh, left corner? And is there a gap through to it? Well, if there is, it's a little bit of good fortune. Thirty-two. Thirty-three. Perfect angle on the blue, and there's a red in the middle of the bunch of reds that'll pot into the right corner. You just come around and have a look at that. himself a choice of reds. He's got one into the middle pocket as well. Thirty-nine. Well, he's starting to look good now, Ray. Forty-six. So just one red required to take Stephen within a, a frame of victory. <coughs> And uh, the black will give him the highest break uh, so far in the final. He's had a 60 to date. John paying dearly for that just slightly loose shot when he was unlucky to get into trouble, it has to be said. 63.
Seventy-eight. Seventy-nine. He's had three centuries this week. And uh, this capacity 86. audience. Now the frame is one. Would love 87. to see him clear up here. Century, but nevertheless, a very impressive frame there from Stephen. Now just one frame away from victory at eight frames to five. <laughs> 